Hello everyone, uh, let me introduce myself. Uh, my name is Ulkar Nain Hayat. I am working as a database specialist uh, and doing database administration since 14 years. I have platform independent experience like Linux, Solaris and I just wanted to share you uh, one thing. Uh, actually before few years back uh, I was interviewing a few candidates who had OCP certification uh, in their resume. But even though they had good academic knowledge, consists of physical architecture of the database and logical architecture of the database, uh, but uh, lack in hands-on. They, they don't have hands-on experience. One of candidate uh, frankly told me uh, that without job, how to get hands-on? And this video is the answer to his valid question. This video actually uh, we divided into three part. First part will be uh, Oracle Virtual Box installation, and second part will be uh, Oracle Linux operating system installation, and final part will be the Oracle 12C installation. Uh, we'll go step by uh, we'll go step by step uh, instruction uh, uh, installation of uh, Oracle Virtual Box, then Oracle Linux, then uh, Oracle 12C installation. Let's start Virtual Box installation. Uh, uh, first we will download the oracle virtual box and we will open the google and just uh, we write down oracle virtual box download windows and you can see the link then we click on windows host uh, we will install i have windows 10 operating system so i will install on windows 10 so i will download on my desktop will take a few minutes to download so I will install now so I will go uh, installation on the default path you can choose uh, if you want uh, any custom path It's very simple installation uh, Oracle Virtual Box. Uh, virtual Box actually uh, is uh, provide you virtualization uh, on your laptop. You can run many different operating system on your base operating system. Like you can run Windows, Linux, Solaris, Intel uh, using your laptop. So let's start. Finish. So we will see this uh, interface of Oracle Virtual Box. Now let's start create new virtual machine for uh, Oracle Linux operating system. I will put name Oracle 12C. Uh, I will choose Linux 64-bit. Uh, uh, I will uh, select it uh, for GB RAM. And uh, I will create virtual hard drive, hard disk. Uh, so I will choose this one, uh, virtual disk. It should be dynamic and I will choose, I will give uh, size 40 GB and I can save uh, any drive where I have space 40 GB. So I will save and G drive. So after that, you know, virtual machine is created. Now we uh, have to do some step, uh, we need to uh, mount ISO image, uh, we already downloaded Oracle uh, Linux 7 uh, ISO image, uh, we will just uh, mount the ISO image to our virtual box, done, and we also check uh, network uh, adapter configuration, uh, we just go to setting and then we go to network part, and we will choose the bridge adapter so this VM bridge adapter means this VM 
uh, will get IP from DHCP on the same land where we have this uh, operating system.